Hey guys, Chris with Phantom Buster here. And in this video, we're gonna look at the LinkedIn Message Center Phantom available on phantombuster.com, which will help you send personalized messages to your LinkedIn connections. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started using this Phantom, we wanna head on over to phantombuster.com and click on Browse Phantoms. This will take you to the Phantom Web Store and I'm gonna scroll down to LinkedIn Message Sender. If I click on the title, I'll be taken to the LinkedIn Message Sender overview page where I'll get an overview of exactly how to use this Phantom. If you click on the tutorial tab, you'll get a step-by-step -step breakdown of exactly how this Phantom works. All right, so now I'm gonna click on Use This Phantom. Now you should already have the Phantom Buster Chrome extension installed on your browser, so all you need to do is click on Connect to LinkedIn, then click Save. Now here is where you tell the Phantom which profiles you want to message. You have a number of options here. If you click on a URL, you can use the URL of a single LinkedIn profile, the URL of a Google Sheet or CSV file containing a list of LinkedIn profiles, all you need to do to use a spreadsheet is make sure that the CSV or Google Sheets are publicly accessible. You can also chain together other phantoms as your input, and all you need to do is click on My Phantoms and choose which other phantom you want to use. For now, I'm going to use a URL of a single LinkedIn profile. So I'll go over to LinkedIn, and I'm going to choose the profile of the person that I want to send a message to. And I'm going to go into the URL and select all, right click and say copy. And then back in the input section in the Phantom, I'll go ahead and right click and choose paste. Now I've already connected with this person. So I've typed up in notepad a quick note that says, hi, first name, thanks for connecting with me. And so I'm going to go ahead and select all, choose copy. And then in the input section of my message, I'm going to right click and choose paste. Now you can use placeholder tags to personalize your message, such as pound first name pound to insert the first name of the person you're messaging. And keep in mind LinkedIn limits you to 7,000 characters per message. And also keep in mind that if you're using placeholder tags, that the length of the replacement may be longer than the placeholder, which will increase your character count. There's also some spreadsheet settings if you're using a spreadsheet with more than one column, you can tell the Phantom the name of the column that you're pulling the URLs from. But everything looks good here, so I'll go ahead and close this and click on Save. Now here's where you choose the behavior of your Phantom. Now keep in mind there's a limit to how much you can automate with LinkedIn. We recommend you process a maximum of 80 profiles per day or 150 profiles if you have a Sales Navigator account. If you bypass this by too much, you'll have to update your session cookie more often. And then you should always spread your actions out across several launches spaced throughout the day during office hours where possible. Here's where you choose the number of profiles to message per launch. The Phantom will process a maximum of 10 profiles per launch in order to keep your account safe. And then you can also enable profile scraping. This is optional, but required if you're using profile data for the placeholder tags in your message. Anything other than pound first name pound or an email discovery service. There's also several conditions for sending messages. So these are different options for you. So you message the right people and don't over message or double message someone that's already replied to you. For now, everything looks good. And finally, you can rename the result.csv file that gets output. Everything looks good for this tutorial here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now here's where you choose your email discovery service. Each Phantom Buster plan includes monthly email discovery credits. And keep in mind that one credit corresponds to an attempt at finding a verified professional email address for a profile you've scraped. If you have an account with Drop Contact, Hunter, or Snowvio, it's also possible to use available credits from these services by entering your account's API key. And finally, I'm going to just choose Phantom Buster and click Save. Here's where you choose your launch settings. Again, you can choose to launch this manually or repeatedly throughout the day and choose how many times per day you wanna launch this Phantom. And with LinkedIn, we really recommend that you launch only during working hours from nine to five and exclude weekends. This will mimic human behavior. 
For now, I'm just gonna launch this manually. And then there's also notification settings. For now, I'm gonna leave it at none. There's also some advanced settings for setting up a proxy or other critical advanced settings. For now, everything looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. This will take me to the LinkedIn message sender console page. And all I need to do to launch this Phantom is click on launch. Now, depending on how many profiles you're processing and messages you're sending, this may take some time. All right, so now my LinkedIn message sender Phantom has finished running. If I wanna look at the results file, all I need to do is scroll to the bottom and click on the I preview icon. And this will show me the profile URL that I sent the message to, what the message sent looked like, and also a timestamp. If I wanna download this data, all I need to do is click on download CSV and choose where I wanna save it on my hard drive. All right, so that was how to use the LinkedIn Message Sender Phantom. To get started using this Phantom, all you need to do is go to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.